what if life on an alien planet has adapted so well to its condition that it's become extremely resilient and can survive even the most extreme conditions? Is it possible that life in the universe may take on forms that are vastly different from what we know and understand? Close your eyes and imagine a world where the ocean stretches across the entire planet. A world where the water is so hot that it could boil twice as quickly as it does on Earth. Yet the water doesn't boil away due to the intense pressure created by the atmosphere, which is almost 10 times stronger than Earth's. This is a Hycean planet, K218b located about 124 light years away from us. It's a world where only the fittest can survive. Of the thousands of exoplanets discovered within the last 30 years, this really caught the scientists' attention. On August 26, 2021, scientists claimed that they had identified a new class of planets Planets which are up to three times the size of Earth can have a mass eight to ten times that of Earth, scorching temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius, thick hydrogen atmospheres, and planet-wide oceans hundreds of miles deep. They call them Hycean worlds. K218b is one such Hycean world, and scientists believe it resides in the habitable zone of its star. Such planets, because of their size, allow for a much wider habitable zone compared to Earth-sized planets. This means that even if they're situated much further from their host suns, they could still support life. Similar to Proxima b, a vast majority of these Hycean planets are tidally locked, which implies that one side of the planet always faces its host star, while the other side remains shrouded in perpetual darkness, offering life little chance for survival on the Terminator line. However, K218b distinguishes itself from the rest, as the Hubble Space Telescope has already confirmed the presence of water vapors in its atmosphere. This groundbreaking discovery marks the first time water has been detected on any exoplanet. The presence of water on K218b makes it a prime candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life, as it's a crucial ingredient for the evolution of life as we know it. But despite the planet's surface temperature being a comfortable 10 degrees Celsius, its hydrogen-rich atmosphere causes the temperature and pressure to increase as you descend deeper into its depths. At the rocky core, the pressure is expected to be thousands of times higher than that of Earth's surface with temperatures that can approach a scorching 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These conditions make it difficult for complex molecules to form, leaving scientists to ponder how life could adapt to such an extreme world. While many of the prime Hycean candidates identified by researchers are bigger and hotter than K218b, they are believed to still have the characteristics to host large oceans that could support microbial life similar to that found in some of Earth's most extreme watery environments. It's truly fascinating to realize how life can thrive even in such extreme conditions. Surprisingly, on Earth, highly resistant microbes such as tardigrades have managed to withstand such harsh conditions. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, for example, can even manage to live without water for up to 10 years. These organisms, known as extremophiles, can survive and flourish in extreme conditions such as high crushing pressure, acidic or alkaline conditions, and scorching temperatures. Such forms of life as we know it are present at hydrothermal vents in the Earth's oceans. These vents are places where the seafloor meets magma from the Earth's mantle, superheating the surrounding water and creating a harsh, inhospitable environment. Yet even here, life finds a way, and at these vents, thriving communities of bacteria, 
crabs, and tube worms can be found. There, water temperatures can reach up to 464 degrees Celsius. But instead of vaporizing, the water remains liquid, thanks to the pressure of the rest of the ocean bearing down on it. In fact, some scientists even believe that life on Earth actually started in hydrothermal vents. It's surprising to think that the same extreme conditions that could wipe out most life on Earth might be responsible for the very existence of life itself. These remarkable organisms come in many different types and can survive in some of the harshest environments on Earth and possibly beyond. Heat-resistant organisms, known as thermophiles, are able to survive at temperatures of up to 120 degrees Celsius, well above the boiling point of water. Such similar organisms might be able to survive on hot exoplanets, such as Hycean worlds, where temperatures can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius. Acidophiles are organisms that can survive in acidic environments, with a pH of 3 or lower. Hypoliths live underneath rocks in deserts, where they are exposed to extreme temperatures, high levels of ultraviolet radiation, and dryness. To survive, they rely on unique adaptations, such as using photosynthesis or breaking down minerals in rocks for energy. Radio-resistant organisms, such as Deinococcus radiodurans, are able to withstand high levels of radiation. They are known as the world's toughest bacterium and can survive radiation doses that would kill most other organisms, including humans. They may even be able to survive on exoplanets that are bombarded by the intense radiation from their host stars. Methanobacterium, found in wetlands and even in the guts of animals and humans, this tiny microbe has an incredible metabolic pathway that sets it apart from other living beings. Unlike most organisms that rely on oxygen to produce energy, methanobacterium has the ability to create its energy through the process of methanogenesis, which involves converting hydrogen gas to carbon dioxide into methane, bypassing the use of oxygen. K218b could potentially harbor life forms that are similar to methanobacterium, where organisms could thrive in the extreme conditions found on Hycean planets, where temperatures can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius. Imagine a hybrid of methanobacterium and a heat-resistant thermophile, which could survive the extreme temperatures and conditions of a Hycean planet. This hybrid organism could be a potential solution for energy production on such planets, where traditional sources of energy would not be sustainable. So, if one of these planets had microbes swimming in the oceans underneath thick hydrogen atmospheres, would we be able to detect them? Astronomers are eagerly awaiting for the opportunity to gather spectroscopic observations of Hycean planets. Understanding if a planet within the habitable zone has the right ingredients for life means searching for biosignatures like oxygen, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone, all of which are found on Earth. The planet was given a score of 0.73 ESI. That is, according to estimates, scientists consider it 73% Earth-like. Quite soon, they'll have a number of Hycean-like planets to study, which are located relatively close to us, ranging from 35 to 150 light-years away. And the James Webb Space Telescope already has the capability to examine their atmospheres. A biosignature detection would transform our understanding of life in the universe and our place in it upside down. It seems like a series of mind-boggling discoveries lies ahead of us, and these could definitely represent a completely new class of habitable planets that we should be exploring in more detail. <laughs>